Hello, students. I wanted to give you a little bit um, longer of an announcements video today, given that we are starting kind of our second half of distance learning. Okay, so I just wanted to let you all know um, that we're going to kind of do a little bit of a restart this week. Okay, um, we're going to be starting a new book as a class as opposed to doing our like shorter LLI books in our current events. Um, I found a book um, on my Kindle which I think will be a great book for our class. I'll be doing some reading aloud. Um, we'll still be using similar um, strategies and Google Forms, um, pre-reading, post-reading activities like we did with the LLI, but I'll just be applying them to this book um, that is already a digital copy. And so it should be easier and clearer for you to read. Um, it also relates well to um, our refugee book and our... Um, the War That Saved My Life book. So I think it'll be a good um, restart and it should be interesting to all of you. So we will be using this book for most of the rest of the year. Um, we might finish a little early and then do some more um, fun activities for the end of the year. But just so you know, kind of a, a fresh start here, uh, switching gears a little bit to try and spice it up and keep you interested and keep you reading some things about topics that I know that you all like. All right, so if you look today, um, you're gonna go ahead and go into classwork. Okay, your daily doc is posted. Um, I'm gonna, you have a pre-reading mini lesson and then you have a pre-reading form. Okay, and then each day I'm gonna post um, the Forging Freedom book. Okay, and that'll have the chapters for the week, but you only need to read one chapter a day. Okay, and the chapters are very short. Okay, so if you look here, I have the book posted which you can put into present mode. Um, and then the text will be a little bit bigger for you. Um, and so you'll have the book here, okay, and only one chapter. And most of the chapters are really only about five pages. So very, very manageable. If um, that reading the chapters on your own is taking you a while, you can also follow along as I read them aloud on the YouTube, okay? So it's up to you if you would prefer to watch the YouTube video, which will be posted, or if you want to read them aloud on your own, okay? So, uh, what's this happen? Okay, um, I will still be having you do some fluency reading, okay? So whether it's we're meeting face-to-face um, -face and you're reading aloud to me or you're recording yourself on Flipgrid, I still wanna make sure that you're reading. Um, and so I will be checking in more frequently since I have all these recordings um, with fluency and having you do some read alouds to me. But other than that, everything should stay pretty much the same. We'll just be reading this book for the next three to four weeks about. Um, Miss Babini will still be coming in and doing some uh, vocab and writing stuff with us. We'll still be doing vocab and reading. Um, it's just that this will kind of be our big book as opposed to kind of those shorter books that we're doing um, a new one each week. All right, so that's kind of how the week is going to look. I hope you guys all had an awesome four day weekend. Um, I know I am excited because I feel like I've got some better content for you to keep you interested and motivated during distance learning. You guys have done an awesome job so far, um, but I do want to make sure that we're reading books that you're interested in, especially since the libraries aren't open. Um, so still trying to find some good books for you. I hope um, you were able to get outside over this weekend. It was great weather. I finally planted my garden, got all the tomatoes and peppers and kale in. Um, so that'll be fun to have my garden going. Um, yeah, always. Um, I am changing my office hours from instead of 10 o'clock to 1130 from 1030 to 1130. So please note that I will not be on at 10 anymore. I'll be hopping on at 1030 um, and then just going for an hour. So um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, um, I will see you all online and we've got this. You guys have been doing great with distance learning. Keep up the good work. We are going to finish strong. You guys are being better readers every single day that you come and you decide to, the work, to do the work you're choosing um, to learn and to be great. So thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate you and I miss you all.